Hello again everyone and uh, welcome back to another one of my uh, videos about uh, Spiral Dynamics. This is uh, Sean and um, thank you for joining me today. And um, today I'm going to be uh, talking about a uh, particular color on the uh, Spiral Dynamics curve. It's uh, still very low on the uh, scale. Uh, we've got uh, beige, uh, which is the lowest. And uh, the next color above that, which will be today's focus, will be purple. And um, after that, we've got to red, and then blue, and then uh, orange, and then green. And uh, those are uh, all the colors uh, below of, of the uh, first tier, tier one, rather. Uh, these uh, stages are concerned about survival and uh, when we get up into tier 2 we have the uh, colors of yellow and uh, turquoise. However, purple will be today's focus. So um, what exactly is uh, Spiral Dynamic Stage uh, Purple? Well, um, there's a lot of uh, mysticism and uh, tribalism involved. Um, at this uh, stage. When uh, one um, grows into uh, spiral dynamic stage purple, they uh, come uh, out of that um, fight or flight uh, state from beige. They've um, secured enough uh, resources uh, to survive. They um, are able to uh, hunt and gather, uh, collect food, so now the primary focus is to um, settle down and um, bond together with uh, fellow tribesmen uh, or um, establish uh, strong le links with uh, clans or uh, family members. Basically this is a, a, a stage where uh, family uh, becomes the central uh, focus. There's uh, strong interconnections between uh, family members or uh, you could think of uh, clans as uh, your family. Now, um, in Spiral Dynamics uh, Stage Purple, uh, there's a lot of uh, emphasis on uh, sharing, uh, bonding between uh, other family members and friends, um, sharing of resources, um, and uh, generally uh, respecting um, traditions uh, laid down, um, presented to you from uh, past ancestors. So um, it's all about uh, respecting uh, the ancestors from the past. It would be um, quite a sin for uh, somebody at Purple to uh, go against the uh, teachings and uh, traditions of what... Uh, their, his or her ancestors has, have uh, laid down for them. So, um, what, uh, how could you personify uh, somebody who is at purple? Well, um, they could be uh, natives of uh, primitive tribes in uh, Africa. Um, they could be uh, a Native American. Um, they could uh, be... Uh, a resident of uh, Bosnia. Well, I mean, uh, there is a lot of uh, tribal um, activity going on in there, uh, in the, that particular country. Um, this, I would say, uh, all, much of uh, India is at uh, purple, uh, along with uh, rural China, uh, much of Africa. And um, stage purple uh, represents 1% of the uh, world's power. So um, for those uh, who are um, familiar with uh, spiral dynamics and uh, who are quite scholarly, they would agree that uh, spiral dynamics stage purple is uh, a dinosaur relic of the um, curve. Um, you won't, uh, like 1%, you won't find uh, hardly any uh, power uh, amongst uh, these uh, people who are at this stage. So 
it's um, like uh, powerful uh, governments, um, capitalism, we're a capitalist, um, strong and national, uh, nationalistic tendencies, um, which uh, represent a blue, orange. Um, they're pretty much a, have uh, taken over um, the global politics of today. So, um, yes, purple is a, a relic. Um, basically, uh, let's see. Now, for some of you who are, are watching, uh, I've been asked this question, uh, how come I don't use uh, prompts? It's because I feel that um, this is a more authentic way of uh, presenting uh, this material. Like, um, I find it's uh, better to uh, speak uh, from uh, what I uh, know, from the mind, as opposed to um, referring to uh, prompts. It's just more authenticity. Um, I think, uh, for me, it would be a better way of presenting this uh, material to you. So, so anyway, um, what, um, what, uh, uh, what activities, uh, are, um, ruled by a uh, stage purple? Well, you can, uh, find a witchcraft, um, voodooism, um, magic, uh, pagan worship, uh, Halloween. Um, these are, these are, uh, very, uh, purple, uh, activities. Um, there's a lot of, uh, worship to, uh, sun gods. Um, uh, like a lot of, um, tribal ceremonies. Uh, that take place uh, that they would fall under uh, purple um, like a, like whenever you uh, no, watch a uh, one of these uh, tribal uh, ceremonies they'll uh, notice that there is very uh, prim primitive chanting chanting towards the uh, gods um, yes and uh, usually uh, it they will involve uh, the whole clan, so it could be around 30 to 50 people. Now, um, historically, when did uh, purple begin to emerge? Uh, the, it, I would say around uh, at least 50, over 50,000 years ago, after, um, after Homo sapiens uh, began to um, emerge as the uh, dominant species of this earth. Um, we uh, learned how to um, gather, we learned how to uh, make uh, amends with um, our closest neighbors and uh, we, we felt that uh, we would have a, a better chance of surviving if we um, gathered in small groups. That way it would be uh, easier for uh, us to hunt and to gather and to um, yes, uh, cultivate the lands and um, yes, just uh, prolong our lives, basically speaking. So um, yes, um, astrology, that would uh, fall under uh, this uh, color purple um, there's a lot there basically there's a uh, a lot of uh, mystical um, fascination with the uh, stars in the moon um, there could be a um, pa there could be a, a love for uh, fairies um, just, um, yeah, just, just a lot of a uh, magic associated with, uh, Spiral Dynamic Stage, uh, Purple. Um, you can, uh, relics that, um, are a part of a purple would include, uh, totem poles, uh, spears, um, 
this uh, I, I would say uh, family logos um, family crests um, uh, there's a lot of uh, animal uh, sacrifice uh, even human sacrifice would uh, fall under purple um, I would say uh, Aztecs, they were a very uh, purple uh, dominated society with their um, ways of uh, worshipping the gods and um, sacrificing uh, uh, fellow uh, clansmen for, to uh, appease the gods. And um, same with the Amaya civilization. What else would a would fall under purple? Um, in pop culture, the movie Avatar, when um, you uh, come across the those uh, that uh, alien civilization, uh, which uh, has a very uh, tribal um, uh, condition to um, their environment. Yes, that would fall under purple. Um, I would say uh, the 80s uh, cartoon, The Smurfs, would uh, fall under Spiral Dynamics Stage Purple. Uh, you have all the uh, Smurfs uh, banded together in harmony, uh, in bliss, like one big happy family, one big clan, and the clan leader, of course, is uh, Papa Smurf. <laughs> yeah, and um, leaders under a Spiral Dynamics Stage uh, Purple uh, they more or less uh, arise naturally. Um, they're not... Purple is too primitive to um, be considered a democratic or uh, even having an established uh, uh, government or uh, established means of um, leadership and power. So... Um, once uh, one grows into uh, red, will uh, pow true power and uh, glory be uh, established? But um, more or less under purple, uh, a leader uh, is pretty much uh, the uh, head of the uh, family, could be the uh, eldest. So um, when uh, every uh, whenever the uh, eldest member of the uh, family uh, passes away, um, the, ne the next oldest person uh, would be in line. So, um, yeah, there would be that kind of natural hierarchy. Um, now, uh, a na a hierarchies are pretty much uh, predominant in blue. It's Spiral Dynamics Stage Blue. Uh, but uh, they're much more established. So, um, purple, uh, at this point, it would, there would be uh, no true established uh, guidelines as to how uh, leaders would be chosen. Um, you know, it, it sounds kind of contradictory, but um, yes, uh, purple, there's no true um, established uh, way of governing basically speaking. Um, let's see what else. Um, yes, um, I would say uh, campfires. Like, uh, if you're uh, within a group, uh, sitting, uh, along, sitting uh, next to a bonfire, uh, telling stories, um, that uh, would be reminiscent of stage purple. Um, Teepees, um, the the uh, kind of uh, huts where uh, Native Americans live in, that would uh, fall under stage purple. Uh, I would also have to uh, say um, the Inuit way of, of life in uh, northern Canada, with uh, the Inuits uh, living together in uh, igloos, uh, hunting together. Um, Going ice fishing, um, I think that would uh, pretty much constitute uh, a stage purple t type of uh, 
way of living. Uh, um, yes, um, the kind of uh, carvings, um, artwork that you uh, would notice in caves, uh, reflecting on how uh, primitive uh, cultures uh, lived thousands and thousands of years ago, uh, that would uh, be reflective of stage purple. Um, yes, so stage pur purple basically, uh, it's uh, very, um, very primitive uh, civilization. Um, the most basic kind of uh, civilization, I think, um, uh, that there is uh, in human evolution. Um, when, uh, yes, and um, I would have, uh, I'm excuse you here, I'm just uh, thinking as I uh, go, go along uh, filming this uh, video, um, yeah, yes, very uh, basic indeed. So those are just uh, some of the uh, fundamental characteristics of uh, Spiral Dynamic Stage uh, Purple. If you would like to uh, learn more about um, how um, Stage uh, Purple presents uh, itself to the rest of the world, I uh, would uh, suggest uh, visiting uh, www.actualize.org and uh, Spiral Dynamics uh, Integral dot NL. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, present those uh, down below. And uh, I would li also like to um, give credit to uh, Don Beck and Claire Graves, uh, the two um, psychologists who uh, created Spiral Dynamics. They've brought uh, a lot of uh, inspiration to um, many people who uh, want to uh, grow psychologically and spiritually. So, and uh, I also need to um, give thanks to Leo Gura, the uh, founder of Actualize.org. He has uh, created uh, a series of, <coughs> excuse me, a series of, uh, sp series of videos of uh, Spiral Dynamics. Um, one for each color except for uh, beige. So I've, I've learned a lot from uh, Leo Gura as well. So uh, hats off to him. And um, yep, that's uh, my uh, take on uh, this uh, particular color. So thank you. And um, yes, I do want to uh, thank you for uh, watching this uh, video. And please like and comment and subscribe below and to my channel. And um, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.